Okay, right now I'm going to change out the jet nozzle with the new rocket valve. You're going to take out the breech block screw. Set it off to the side. All right, now you're going to take off the auto selector retaining screw, which is this right here. I'll use an Allen wrench. just to show you there's gonna be a few small pieces so you definitely want to keep them aside and in one place all right after that what you're gonna do you're gonna push in your auto selector you'll hear a click now what I found what you have to do Is you, you have to actually bang the back of the slide itself. I just use a piece of wood. And what falls out is the auto selector pin. Okay, from here, just move your selector switch up a, a, little, a little bit and it'll actually spring load out. Here's your auto selector switch. Now, there is a bearing in there. This is the auto selector detent ball. Just another bearing. Set it off to the side. Now as you see, the auto selector's out, the breech screw is out. All you have to do is turn it upside down. And now here's your breech block. Upper slide. Set it off to the side. All right, here's your cylinder. All you gotta do is pull it off. Now you're gonna have two springs don't lose them set them off to the side all right here's your loading nozzle the silver piece that is the jet nozzle so what you want to do Place it with the, the larger hole to the bottom. There's a retaining pin. Push it through. It's a rather long retaining pin. The spring for the jet nozzle and this is the the jet nozzle itself set it off to the side 
Here's the rocket valve. Now everything is in reverse order. There's the spring with the rocket valve now. It goes right back down. Now with the actual retaining pin, you can actually start the seat of the right into the hole. Now what you have to do is keep this down. Now once you get the pin to that point, to where you could you can still see it. Let the rocket valve come up some, and then you actually have to line it up with the other side. You'll feel it seat in, and then push it all the way through. It'll click in and now it's flush. You can push inside on the valve and it will spring with tension. Now would be a good time to lube it up I've already done it. I've got grease along the, the side rails here, actually on the bottom as well. Slides right into the grooves. Your springs. Now, just to show you, the springs go down these holes. As so. the upper slide slides right down and in and as you see then you're going to put your your bearing back in. Now there's going to be three holes, three indentation holes, where the auto selector switch goes. You want it in the middle hole. That's for the safety position. Sometimes it does fall out. All you do is just get it back to where it should be. You'll hear the clicks and the snap. Now, when you put it back on, it has to be in the safe position, the neutral position. Okay. Your actual retaining pin. Again, push in the fire selector so it has the room to go in.
slide it in. You have a little assist down. Then you let it go. Time for the fire selector pin retaining screw, which goes in the hole. Just snug it down, and that's it. Changing out the jet nozzle to the rocket valve.